Hi everyone, it's Ms. Goldman and this is our last, as of right now, day of virtual distance learning. We are doing module five, lesson 10, right? We've been out of school doing virtual teaching for 10, learning for 10 days and we're on lesson 10. So again, if you cannot see any, all the pictures, make sure you are looking at the PDF one that is attached to this whole lesson and you are answering these questions in the Google Doc. I know trying to draw some of these things are a little tricky in Google Docs, but I know you can do it. Also, if you are printing these out, just make sure you are sending me pictures either through Google Classroom or Class Dojo. And let's begin. And remember to pause at any time if I'm going too fast. So you can see in this first one, I kind of did, I started doing it for you. It says each fraction strip is one whole. All the fraction strips are equal in length. Color one fractional unit in each strip, then answer the questions below. So, so far, we're just going to do this part. And if we need to go back and forth, we can. So take your time and color in one section of each. All right, I'm going to go over the answers. If you need more time, just press pause. So here you can see one fourth. I just shaded in the first piece, though, for all of them. One fourth, though. I only shaded in that first one. One eighth. Only shaded in that first one. One third. Again, only the first. And one sixth, only the first. So let's go on to the next problem. Remember, this is the part that's going to be going next to with these. So. What we're going to be doing is comparing fractions. Now, we are going to circle less than or greater than and whisper the complete sentence. Now, one of the big things I like to remind you all is think about it as a piece of cake or, a piece, or pizza. So here is a whole pizza, right? Or a whole cake. Would you rather have, for this one, one half of the cake? Or, now remember these aren't perfect, one fourth. So if you see one half here is, here is greater than one fourth. It's smaller, right? So that's what you're going to do for all of these problems. So think about the smaller number is actually bigger than the bigger number. So take your time to work on these. If you need to use the pictures from above, that is fine. Or, sorry, from the earlier page.
All right, I'm going to go over the answers right now. So if you need more time, just press pause. So again, remember we said that the bigger the bigger number is actually smaller than the smaller number. So one six is less than one half. One third is less than one half. One third is greater than one six. One eighth is less than one six. One eighth is less than one fourth. One half is greater than one eighth. And nine eighths is less than two halves. I know that one because I tried to trick you by writing it out and using a numerator that is actually bigger than the denominator. But remember, all you have to do is focus on that denominator for this problem, these problems. Remember, the denominator is our bottom number, which is our whole. All right, let's move on. So for this one, it says Lily needs one third cup of oil and one fourth cup of water to make muffins. Will Lily use more? Oil or more water, and you're going to explain your answer. Remember, you have one third and one fourth. So to help you out, you can look at it this way. So here's one rectangle. There's our one fourth. I know they're not exactly perfect. And our one third. Now, even with them not being exactly perfect, you should be able to see which it is. Actually, I'm going to make it better. I'm trying to make it better for you. Not make them sideways. As you'll see when I'm making these, I'm trying to make these rectangles the same size. So I have here my one fourth, and here my one third. So take your time. Remember, you need to use pictures, numbers, and words. Remember for the words too, you want to use complete sentences. All right, we're gonna go over the answers. And you can see I have my picture that has the numbers in it with words and I wrote, Lily will use more oil than water because one third is bigger than one fourth. I'm not sure why when I was typing this, the one fourth came out a little different than one third. But you can see I have my rectangles there and I compared one third and one fourth. All right, let's keep going. All right, so these again, we're gonna be comparing greater than or less than. This time though, we're just adding in the greater than or less than or equal to symbol. So as you can see, I did this first one. I said one third is greater than one fifth, and you want to remember with these arrows, just think of it as an alligator wanting 
more food. Here you have this as greater than greater and less. And we also have equal. So if it's the same, you're going to write equal. But remember, whichever is the bigger number, we want to make sure this looks like it's about to eat it. Think of it as a crocodile. Here's its teeth and its eye. Go nom 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 nom. It's hungry. I'm only gonna draw one teeth for each of the tooth for each, the top and the bottom, I think. And this one might get more. So if I do more for this one, I should do more. Make them equalish. And remember, equal is the same. So take your time. All you have to do is draw in this little arrow. Remember. The smaller denominator is the bigger number. So take your time. All right, we're going to go over the answers. All right, so we're going to go over the answers. So for B, one seventh is less than one fourth. C is one sixth is equal to one sixth. D, one tenth is less than one twelfth. E, one sixteenth is less than one eleventh. F, one whole is equal to one whole. Now, think of it this way if I have a whole pizza and I eat it all, oh boy, it better be a cheese and all a pizza for me. Ooh, my scribbles got a little, out of, a little crazy, but that's okay and I have a whole cake and I cut it into two halves and I eat this half and this half. Oh boy, I'm having so much fun eating all this food all on my own. I'm really going to have a tummy ache and hopefully for me it's chocolate. But remember, I can't eat chocolate so it really shouldn't be chocolate. Someone else is going to have to eat that. So, it's equal, right? Both are Build. Now this extension you do not have to do, but if you did it, good for you. And really what it does is go from problem to problem. So we have 1 eighth is equal to 1 eighth. 1 eighth is less than 1 sixth. 1 sixth is less than 1 third. 1 third is less than 2 halves. And 2 halves are equal to 1 whole because we know we just did that right up there. So good for you if you got this and you tried it. All right, if you need to check your answers, that's all right, or fix them. I'm going to move on. Press pause if you need it. These, this is our last problem. So it says, your friend Eric says, one six is greater than one fifth because six is greater than five. Is Eric correct? Use words. Remember, use words and pictures to explain what happens to the size of a unit fraction when the number of parts gets larger. So take your time. And do your best.
All right, we're going to go over the answer. If you need more time, just press pause. All right, so I said no. Eric is wrong because in fractions, the smaller denominator is bigger. And then I showed my picture of 1 6 and comparing it to 1 5th. And as you can see, my 1 5th are bigger. So I hope you were able to get something out of this lesson. We will see you later on today, probably, what is going to be happening with next week. Hopefully, I see you in person. If not, I'll see you here again. Maybe you'll come for the live lesson if you missed it this day. If we are doing it virtually or you decide you miss me so much. And even though you were there at the live lesson, you still want to hear my voice. So, bye. Stay smart and go for the gold.